Boo. <laughs> boo. Boo. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, God, I look a sight. Oh, my Lordy, I look awful. There's, um, I'm, I'm Dorothy and Scarecrow already in the house. Thank you for coming. Hey, 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 Mary Ann here to crotchety clogger. I forgot that. I forgot to do that. I'm out of practice. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm not pretty today. Makeup is like the last on the priority list. Marsha Lee. Hey, boo. <laughs> Virtual hugs back to you. Right. Look at those bags under my eyes. Lord have mercy. D. Yeah, I do. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I, I'm not putting makeup on. <laughs> I haven't even tried to put any makeup on. Um, Gracie! <laughs> I can't wait to show your... I, 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 yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> oh, it's hard. My eyes are like... <sighs> okay, Gracie, you be listening because I'm going to show your happy mail. That was so sweet of you. My eyes are full of eye boogers. Anybody else get eye boogers like I get eye boogers? Which is one of the main reasons I stopped wearing contact lenses. Eye boogers. Oh. D, 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 D. Hey, everybody. It's nice to be here. It's nice that you're here. I'm happy you're here. Oh, well, I got a list of things to talk about. I don't know if it'll take the whole a whole uh, 60 minutes, but whatever it takes is better than nothing. <clears throat> Guess what I did? I did a little crocheting last night. I picked up a project bag that... <clears throat> Mr. C had to move when he was vacuuming yesterday. <laughs> yes, I get to hear I get to hear all the curse words from him as he tries to do the vacuuming. <laughs> oh, hey Laura, did you ever have to did you have to put up with that? <clears throat> Jaxie! You in the cheap seats with the cheap, cheap seats, cheap seats with the binoculars. What you talking about? No, on this live, on this live, you paid for front row, girl. Girl. Because when I'm talking about ghost stitches, I'm talking about you, girl. Jaxie Mae. Amy. Oh, Cindy. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that's right. Jaxie's Glenda. The good stitching witch. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you guys for coming. I know it's been a, a bit. <clears throat> Dory! Dory, Dory, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, Tammy. Why, thank you. I like I like my, my new fashion accessory. Oh. <laughs> And, you know, when I left the hospital and they put this on me <clears throat> without the, the, the colorful sleeve, uh, <clears throat> they did tell me, the nurse said, now, you know, that collar ain't going to do nothing for you except to remind you not to turn your head. Right. So I got to I got to keep the shoulders in line. Right. Mm -hmm, whatever. But I'm trying. And you know what? <laughs> It makes me realize exactly how animated I, I am under normal circumstances because I can't, it, it's hard not to move your neck. Did you know that when you brush your teeth, you involve your neck as well? I had no idea. But honestly, I have turned my neck on accident, turned my head, and it didn't hurt. So, I mean, all's good, I suppose, right? Hey, Steve. Thank you so much for coming by. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's good to see me too. Well, I mean, it's good to see you too. <laughs> no, it does feel good to feel good. I got to say, it feels good to feel good. Uh, how long do I have to wear this? Well, as I 
went over all these instructions that they gave me, even highlighted. They did this. They, they did the highlighting. I read, and I read it again. Oh, hey, Zach. Did I miss Zach? Zach, what's up? Oh, Miguel. Oh, I have sneezed several times, Miguel, and it's it's okay. No hurt. No hurt with the sneeze. I'll tell you in a minute what did hurt. Anyway, yeah, so I, it, I had no answer to that question. How long am I going to have to wear this uh, <clears throat> in these instructions? So I actually gave the surgeon's office a call, and they, I said, so how long do I need to, to, to wear this? How long do I need to be careful? And they said, they went to, the, to whomever to ask the question and came back and, and said, you have to, to, to wear it until your post-op appointment which is not until November the 4th. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Whatever. Oh, does it hurt any time? Oh, no, really? Oh, no. Yeah, I've had some heavy-duty sneezes, Miguel, and it, it has not hurt. Although yesterday, yesterday, I got out of the house for, well, for a little while. One of the first... Uh, First times I've gone out of the house, uh, Mr. C driving, of course. And he ended up having to slam on brakes. <laughs> that hurt. I, I was like, whiplash. Yeah, hey, thank you. But just for a few, few seconds and then. I know. See, I guess every surgeon's different, right, Laura? But I got I gotta be uh hey Racine. I gotta be quite uh honest. I do not wear it all the time. If I'm around here in the house and I'm just sitting in the recliner really doing nothing, I'll I won't wear it. Not to mention the fact that, you know, the incision under here needs some air sometimes, right? That's another thing I didn't do. They told me I needed to dress, redress the incision every day. They told me exactly what to order off of Amazon, Curad, what's it called? Curad Gnostic Dressing. So I go and order 100, 100, 100 in a box. All right. Come the third day of redressing this, the incision, the skin where the tape goes on was so raw, I'm like, forget this. So I'm not redressing it anymore. I have little bitty scabs around where the, where the tape was. Band-Aid ain't nothing compared to that medical tape. I don't understand. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing it. It's fine. It ain't like it opened back up or anything. And it's not infected. So it's all good. Hello, Brenda. Why, thank you. <laughs> oh, me. Who else is in the house that I missed? You didn't have to dress yours at all. So I don't feel, I don't feel so bad. Then I'm not, I'm not, because I, <laughs> I mean, I, the, the dressing and the tape irritated my skin so bad that I just forget that. I know, right? Oh, they were supposed to, but they actually, the nurse that was supposed to give me like three of those little dressing things, I um, must have forgot or something. So, yeah, Mr. C was a little angry about that. Thank you, Amy. I know, right? <laughs> it, it is hard to realize how much you actually use your neck. Oh, really? Steve, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm not on wood. I'm not allergic to a whole lot of things. Oh, man. So what else is new? I got to say, I feel so out of the loop. I have been watching um, a lot of YouTube on the TV as I'm just in Mr. C's recliner or laying on the bed. Yeah, this it's puffy, but it, it doesn't have, um, it's not stitches. It's what, what's it called? Well, I told you some kind of skin, excuse me, skin glue. <laughs> oh right, D. <laughs> they didn't they didn't forget to add the three three pieces of gauze to my bill. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I ain't got the bill yet. Lord have mercy. But I have found myself nodding or shaking my head in answer to questions that are, I'm like, just stop doing that. It's really hard, really hard not to use your head. <clears throat> but yeah, mine's kind of, it's kind of puffy feeling. But anyway, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, I do have a question. Uh, showering. Washing my hair is a challenge because you're not supposed to lean your head back. Well, that's what I do when I wash my hair because, you know, you, you end up getting it to a science. You don't get right. You, you don't get water in your ears. I mean, you know, you're used to those kind of things. Well, now, I, because I can't lean my head back, I'm just straight water coming straight down right so it's going all in my ears i've got water in my ears now for two weeks does anybody have any like tips on how to get water out your ears it's driving me nuts especially my right ear <clears throat> trisha you know what i mean we had that problem in florida but now it just won't it and i know this sounds really um kind of gross but i've been washing my hair only once a week just because it's a it's terrible task now especially now to do it yes d i have had absolutely no nerve pain since the surgery thank the lord i am so so blessed that that whatever dr bennett did worked I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. And, and, you know, it's not gross once a week. <laughs> Usually I do it only twice a week. But I'm like, ah. <clears throat> Hello, mobs. What's up? <clears throat> but, of course, I haven't been really getting all that sweaty. Of course, this makes me sweaty. HD, thank you so much for coming. I know, zero nerve pain. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Occasionally, I might feel a little bit of a tingly, but I, you know, I can deal with that. I don't, and that's only on very rare occasion that I feel tingly. You usually wash your hair only once. Well, I, two weeks is probably not enough with, with, with my work, but obviously I haven't been working lately. <clears throat> you know, but anyway, it's good to see you HD. So what else is up? Oh yeah. I told you. Did I tell you? Yeah. When we went, we went to Costco. Was it yesterday? It was kind of, kind of fun. Wanted to get out of the house. It's been a while. And of course I'm not driving yet but mr c did the driving and some wackadoodle on the road made him have to slam on the brakes and that did hurt a little a little bit but but it's fine now it's all good it's all good and so you know soreness is pretty much pretty much all gone there's a couple places that are consistent but they don't they're not painful so what else is new <clears throat> i know i missed something let's see yep yep all the tingles are gone it's just yeah the yeah At least I have. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm just rereading. Sorry. So what about what? Oh, let me go. I want to show you this. My words are getting intertwingled. I've got the nicest happy mail from Gracie. Look. From Gracie Canales. She sent me a get well card. Wasn't that nice? It says, 
told your doctor that you'd recover faster in Maui. And then it says, pretty sure he's considering it. <laughs> Get well soon. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gracie. Oh, it's so sweet. And she says, thinking about you and praying that you have a smooth and quick recovery. Well, it's on. I'm on the road to it. I'm ready. And she included a bunch of nice teas here. Look at this. Taz, how do you pronounce that? Tazo, Tazo, Tazo. Passion. Oh, hibiscus, orange peel, and rose hips. Mmm. And this is puka. Puka, three ginger tea. Ginger, ginger, ginger. A warming swirl of ginger, galangal, and golden turmeric. What's galangal? And here is an organic blood orange. Ooh, herbal tea. That looks good. I love orangey stuff. Thank you so much, Gracie. Yes, it's a hallmark. Thank you. It was so, so nice to get this. Now I'm going to take the tees off of them. I left the tees on there so I could show. But now I'll take them off and I'll give them a shot and see how they taste. Thank you, Gracie. Uh-oh, you need some tees, Jaxie? That was so nice. I appreciate it. All the pretty butterfly stickles. And the in the and the dragonfly stickers. <clears throat> so Laura, I need to talk to you sometime to find out what I'm supposed to do in so far as the uh, October thing, you know. Thank you, Gracie. Uh, yeah, collab uh, copycat. Hey, did I tell you something? Did I tell you that I tried to crochet last night? <clears throat> and I don't think I forgot how. I did not forget how. Hey, Melissa! You just gathered up all your Happy Mail tea. Oh, Gracie, did you hear what Cindy just said? Gracie, Cindy Mulcher. Cindy Moulter is saying that you won her giveaway. Sylvia! Hi! Did you get your package yet, Sylvia? Well, let's see. When did it get picked up? Okay. It was Tuesday that it went out. What's today? You probably don't have it yet. You don't have it yet, Sylvia, maybe. But it was Tuesday, Sylvia, that, that your package was delivered. I took a chance and stuck some um, Etsy orders in my mailbox with the flag up. I never trust our mailman. I'm terrible like that. But, yes, I tried to crochet. And what I did was, I wish Madonna was here. Because I got to ask her a question about this stitch. Because I know she's using this. Let me pull some yarn out. So... Yes, I got back to, um, yeah, yeah, right, Sylvia, it, it, yeah, I know, two days ain't, aren't, it, two days isn't quick enough for it to get across the country, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe tomorrow, in fact, I think it did say Friday, possibly Saturday, but anywho, um, I hope you like those stitch markers. And that's something else I want to show, too. Where did I put them? Oh. Well, remind me to show some stitch markers uh, in, a, in a little bit. But anyhow, maybe some of you guys remember. You know, Madonna's doing this same um, thing for her um, Witch Peace Craft, Judy, the, the cow. And, um, anyway, so, yeah, I was, like, 
had apparent I mm, got like one side of this white done and then last night I completed that round but my question is because apparently I've forgotten how to read stitches you know and chains but I think I got it I think it's one chain here right but then when you get to the corner it's two chains like a usual usual what you usually do with a granny square in the corners right 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 am i thinking right i'll go back to the tutorial if but you know if i need to but this is yeah okay thank you trisha thank you uh this is luck of the draw number five now if you've never heard of luck of the draw i'm sure everybody here probably has uh <clears throat> It is uh, from Nan's Next Knots, and we are currently on, I say we, I shouldn't say we, because I'm not doing the current one. Um, we're currently doing Luck of the Draw number six. So this was Luck of the Draw number five, and I need to complete it as I have, I am a ghost stitcher as well. But I didn't do a lot last night. I just wanted to see how I was doing, and um, what I need to do is build up my, uh, workspace so i usually put about two pillars <laughs> so i can crochet up here so i ain't you know i'm not looking down hey madonna's here so madonna because i know you're doing this pattern quite a bit with your um so i'll ask of course the swift the swift hooker you know she she said it she oh Get my shoulders and bring them down. But, yeah, so when you're at the corners, it's two chains, yes? as like a normal granny square. But when you get to where you're skipping these little poofy things, it's just one chain, right? Right? Are we right? And I remember Sweet Tea saying, having to reteach herself how to crochet. Now I know what she means. It's like. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. What does that stitch look like? And what does that stitch look like? Now, there you go. I tried to. Oh, it's avalanche. Oh, my little tin man fell on the floor. <laughs> I can't get him. What'd you tell me? See, I told you so. Yes. We got some, I, yeah, I, I sure hope my ghost stitching is going to make it in time. Get what, 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 Jax? What? Oh, Madonna said, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, no offense, Swifty. <laughs> I ain't going to say <laughs> Me trusts Madonna more than you, Swifty. <laughs> What? I love you too. <laughs> Jaxie, I love you. Thank you. All right. You want to, you want to, <laughs> look, that made Madonna's day. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, she is our elder. We must respect the elder knows much more than we do, or at least we, we can pretend that they do. <laughs> Oh, God, I, do, I got boogers in my eyes. Can't see a thing. Hold on. <laughs> I hope this bod bag will be okay with some double crochet rows instead of all half double. Oh, insofar, what, is this a, 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 a you're going to felt it? Is that one of the, the, the felted ones, D, you're talking about? It's you, not a sheep. <laughs> Hello, Dawn. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, <clears throat> thank you to those who've been running a play my playlist for me. My hours jumped enormously. <clears throat> the double. Mm, well, I, hmm, D, I don't know. You can find out. It may take a couple more uh, runs through the washer. But uh, 
I don't know, because I think like the ones that at Dittmer Nannery, the ones that we did, I did the cow on there uh, with her uh, were all single crochet. So I'm thinking double crochet might be, you know, the most you can get because a, du a, a half double, excuse me, a half double might be as, as far as you can get in so far as creating too much space in there. Although I know it takes forever. So fresh and so clean. Ajax. <laughs> oh, where was I at? Oh, yay for, I know, right? Boy, they just went boing. My watch hours like 200 hours, like boom. I mean, I still got, let's see, where am I at? I don't even know. I'll look real quick. Have y'all noticed on the uh, YT Studio page, they've revamped it quite a bit in your app i mean it uh it has actually a monetize button now used to if you just wanted to go by the app you'd have to do all the mathematics but um now you can go straight in the app and see i got 26 76 watch hours now that is a whole lot more than i had prior so i really thank you guys so very much you got your box yay all right madonna <laughs> okay so just so y'all know you know how madonna loves her hazelnut creamer and it's actually uh, uh it, it, you don't mind madonna hey Kristen. i hope you don't mind me spilling the beans that might not be a good idea you might want to do a video not that you have to i don't care Anyway, I sent her some inexpensive. I'm saying it anyway. Why did I bother to ask? <laughs> I, there's this discount uh, near near me. Is a yeah, it's way out in the boonies, but it's a discount grocery house. So a lot of the things are probably expired, and depending on what that is, you know, kind of depends on whether you really want to buy it or not. <clears throat> But they do have um, some good buys. I, I buy my coffee there now. That's the only place I buy my coffee. So, you know, when you go to a hotel and they have uh, the little coffee packets that you pour, they're about that big. I think they might be like a four ounce um, coffee packet. Well, you can get those little packets five for a dollar. So I did the math. It's worth it. So I buy all my coffee there. So I sent Madonna some coffee. And then the last time I went, I saw this huge two pound bag of hazelnut creamer, some brand never heard of, but my gosh, it was $2 for that whole two pound bag. So I sent one of them to Madonna. She's going to try it out and see if it, if it's worth it. Now you can save all the money in the world you want to on stuff like that. But if it ain't good and don't taste good, it don't matter. But you guys know all that. We can all be water snobs or whatever kind of snobs. It's like, I can't just drink any water. It's got to be from my water pitcher filter thing or <clears throat> the other water I really love. And it's, to me, worth the money is Fuji water. Oh, it's so good. Or any kind of um, alkalinated, alkaline water. <clears throat> Who done this? It's getting hot on the hill. Hello, Joy. Oh, well, no, uh, D, only because the more space you have in the stitches, the harder it's going to be for them to melt together and felt. Does that make sense? That That's what my worry would be, D. Alkaline water sucks to you. Oh, I love it. It's so smooth. Or spring water. Pretty much any spring water is good. <clears throat> Interlocking double crochet or treble would work. With felting idea? Oh, okay. Yeah, spring water is good too. I think spring water is more alkaline than, um, than some of the others. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, it's getting hot under here. <laughs> Hello, Lynn! Thank you for coming. But, but yeah, that, yeah. 
Oh, I know. I saw that video today, Lala. <laughs> it might, it, you know, that cream that Madonna sent you, it might uh, help you from itching, but I don't think it's going to kill them crabs. I don't think it's going to kill them crabs, but it may help with the itch. Avoids the spaces. Yo, okay. Rita, hello. Thank you for coming. Uh, D, uh, Big Sis D, what Steve said. I think on up there he explained that with the treble. <clears throat> <laughs> oh lordy okay <clears throat> it's getting hot under here uh, we need to say a happy birthday oh you still got some cream left I wonder what you could mix that cream with to kill them crabs anybody got any suggestions did I hear or did I even say that, that was a gnat we still got gnats Guess what else we have in this house? Stink bugs. They'll be buzzing all around. But butane. Oh, Madonna's got it. Mix that cream with some butane. We'll curl them crabs. Interlocking treble or double crochet. There you go, D. Whatever that means. I don't know. What that means. I don't know. <laughs> oh, thanks, D. Now I don't feel like a dum dum. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'll look that up. I don't know what that is either. It's an easy stitch, interlocking, but different than regular. Just boil them crabs. <laughs> Ooh, boiled crabs are so delicious. <laughs> what the flock? What are you talking about, Lala? <laughs> She's not putting butane down. Oh, Lord have mercy. Jonna, hello. Thank you for coming in. You're going to an Apple computer class, Dory? Sweet. How exciting. That's so exciting. Maybe you can teach me something. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, our quote at the end of our live today, our quote has everything to do with that. Way to go, Dory. That's, oh, boy. Cool. Yeah, Madonna's <laughs> that <I was> on fire. <laughs> yeah, put them on ice. <laughs> that is so cool, Dory. Have fun. I, and if you learn something that I don't know, let me know. Because I don't know a lot. That, yes. Oh, and uh, Mad Mimi's going to knit and knitting classes. Sorry, Madonna. But, Madonna. Did you happen to see uh, Laura's second hat that she's kashnitted? It's unbelievably beautiful. It looks so complicated. She says it isn't, but man, is it pretty. I was like, oh my God, that is so pretty. What color yarn am I using and what kind? Well, and this thing right here, I got all, I got, you know, this was luck of the draw number five. Like, <laughs> how old is that? <laughs> That's old news. But anyway, I've got all of that. Uh, I've got all that that I'm going to need, I'm sure. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they are expensive, D. But, I, but that's what I have. And honestly, what I did, this machine is over 10 years old. And I know it doesn't have the best camera in the world, but it's over 10 years old and it's about to run out of memory, but otherwise it's still running really good. I just have to make sure I save everything on my, um, on my heart, you know, ex external hard drive. <clears throat> so sorry. What hat is awesome. You get two classes free. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. But, but you know, it's well worth it. And this laptop here was, um, you may want to consider this. Anybody in the market for a 
a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, look at the refurbished ones. They're considerably cheaper. That's what this one is. And it's over 10 years old. And it's been, it was refurbished when I bought it. It was well worth the money. And it's still, it's still working, working just fine. It just doesn't have a whole lot of memory left. But again, see how old it is. <clears throat> Oh, well, you heard that. What else is begging? People are begging for that hat. That is a beautiful hat. The technique sucks, but it's pretty. <laughs> That's what Madonna's talking about. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to learn how to knit. Now, I always said that I would love to learn how to lit knit it. Kushnit, like my mom did, because my gosh, she could fly. She just flew when she, I mean, which would be nice, but I don't know. I don't know. Now I kind of wonder if it wouldn't be really cool to um, have a knitting machine. And I'm actually looking, looking into getting or requesting from Mr. C for Christmas. A not the uh, not the Addy, but the um gosh, okay. What's the German company? I know Addy's German too, but there's another German company. I can't think about it. But the machine, it's it's a knitting machine, but it takes lighter weight yarns a lot better. You know what I mean? And um, like three weight, um, whereas the Addy pretty much needs a four weight. And I've got more three weight yarns than I do four weight yarns. The Centro, no, no, not the Centro. It's, it's, thank goodness. What are those, uh, what are the um, Kushnitten needles? Oh, I bet Dig could tell me. Anyway, I'm hoping, I, I'm thinking I might. I might splurge for Christmas on that one or get Mr. C too. Oh, and the other thing I really want um, is a recliner for myself. So me and Mr. C have been talking about it. And I think what we plan to do is uh, get a couch that has the recliners within the couch. Because our front room is not really... Oh, Madonna, I know what you're talking about, but that's not it either. Well, you know what? All I got to do is go to my Amazon list, list and see, because I think I got it in there. But yeah, I want a recliner too. But he's been very nice. He's been letting me have his recliner. Your Addy takes three weights better than four weight, Kristen. Oh. Mm. How about that? Well, then you never know, because it would be it would be nice to have one that could accommodate both three and four. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, it's in here somewhere. Oh, my shoulders are up. Prim, P R Y M, prim. And see here on. Amazon right now, the Prim Maxi Knitting Mills and Looms is only $66.34. That's not bad. Yeah, Prim. Yeah. But if Addie takes three okay, hmm, not a bad, not a bad, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so what else are we talking about? If, if Joyce Svensson comes in the house, let me know, because I want to show her something. Uh, for schnitting needles? What a waste. <laughs> no, not the needles. The machine. No, a knit machine, Madonna, for $60, $67. That's not bad. So what else are we talking about? Oh, oh, my goodness. Uh when uh, go stitcher raise your hand go stitcher she's in the house <laughs> yeah i know right that's a pretty good deal i think 
So your Addy takes four away also, but it likes a smoother yarn that will glide. Ah. Hey, Sandra. She's here. Okay. So the ghost stitcher sent me another. Raise your hand if you don't know what the ghost stitcher is all about, and I'll explain. Using my good scissors. Don't look, Mama. Boy, my mama would have would have slapped me on the bottom if I used her good scissors for this. Tammy, hey! All right, so that Jaxie and me, once I get going again. <laughs> all right, ghost stitchers. Well, if you don't know what ghost stitching is all about, it's it's anybody trying to help <clears throat> that swift mama swift to make more blankies because what's happening is mama swift decided that for the year 2022 she's going to make 50 blankies and send them to me for me to take to my local baptist children's home and then People started getting, um, well, it should be, you know, 55 or 65 or 105 or whatever. So everybody was up in the quota for poor old Mama Swift. And what's it down to exactly? I can never remember what, what the actual count is now, what it's going to end up being. But she's on number 47 already anyway, you know. She's the swiftest hooker. Well, she and Jaxie, too. Jaxie's mighty swift. Ja oh, Jaxie says 60. All right, 65. Lala says 65. <laughs> and, of course, Mad Mimi's paying to post. Oh, Mama, Madonna. I called, called Madonna, I called you Mama. <laughs> Madonna says 70. <laughs> Whose word do we take? <laughs> Of course, Mad Mimi's paying, paying for me to be sent here. <laughs> but anywho, anywho, me and Jax, we're ghost stitchers because we're kind of helping. Helping Mama Swift reach that quota of 60. <laughs> Do I hear 80? 60. So here's one that has already... This is the second one from the from the ghost stitcher. Double dog dare those ghost stitchers to get her to 65. Oh, good day. I'll try. I got two. I got two in the works. Hadn't been able to touch them. Oh, look at this. It's so pretty. Look. Look at those colors. Sexy. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maxie, my kitty cat. His bed, his bed just slid off the, the bench. Look at this. Let me turn it here. Oh, this is pretty. Look at these colors. Jax, it's beautiful. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can stand up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What? How? Look at the, uh, the way the design. Look at that. That is pretty. There's the bottom. Oh, my goodness, look at that. How beautiful is that? What pattern is this? It's in a tizzy from Polly Plum. In a tizzy. With the, oh, okay, that's a cool little name, isn't it, with the way it's going? That is so nice. I love it. 
four triangles join as you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Miss C's asking, what were you drinking when you made this? <laughs> From Polly Plum, the pattern is in a tizzy. From Polly Plum. That is beautiful, Jax. Well, Trisha, here's what you missed right here. This is one from your ghost stitch of Jaxie, your Wanda twin. How pretty is that? Love it. What what yarn is this, Jax? Do you know? Or did you already say? You probably already said. In a tizzy. That is so cool. What now? Laura said you were up to 80 Afghans to send here. Uh-oh. Sounds to me like, Lala, I just want to spend more money. <laughs> oh, Trisha said a bad word. <laughs> 60. 60. Well, Trisha got to feel good about what she's doing. How anybody? <laughs> Lala said 85. Uh, uh, 60. I can't guarantee. I've got to get two of them made. I got to get this one finished. <laughs> and I got to get the uh, other one will be the Calm and Comfort. Okay. Okay, Madonna. We'll be looking for you. And is there anything else in here? There's something else in here. So if you ever get anything from Jaxie, you are destined to receive a beautiful, good-smelling little patch of lavender. Mm. And looky here. There's more in here. Aww. Aww. It's a pretty fireworks card. Buzz in the tower and a tizzy blanket from Polly Plummet tells you what it is from the ghost stitcher. I could have looked at that first. <clears throat> and, oh, these are from Rose Likes Crochet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look. Oh, look. Thank you, Jax. That's so nice. One of them says, be stronger than the storm. Create something beautiful each day. How pretty is that? Thank you, Jack. So nice. Look, that's so pretty. And these are on the um, lever back. They would make good earrings, too. <coughs> Excuse me. I like that. Thank you, Jaxie. Send me some pretty goodies. And those were from, everybody knows our beautiful Rose, from Rose Likes Crochet. If you don't, you ought to. Be stronger than the storm. So you got to be stronger than, nobody can be stronger than Lala. So where's Toto? She must be sleeping. <clears throat> Jaxie Lavender. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. Oh, all right. What else is on tap? What else? Thank you, Miss Becky. I said thank you to Becky for a wonderful card. Support small buzzies. Right. Hey, and incidentally, I need a reason to have a giveaway. <laughs> I guess I don't need a reason to. <laughs> uh, 
You got to go. I love you too, Trisha. Thank you for coming. Oh, golly, it's already only 10 minutes left. Wow. Um, yeah, so what else? Oh, I do want to show you this. I have to have a reason to have a giveaway. I am going to have a giveaway sometime pretty soon. I would like to make a few more purchases before I have a giveaway. The Lala's Got Crabs giveaway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I could do that, but I am in, in the very near future, I would like to have a giveaway in honor of everyone who, who has a shop or whether it be a shop in Etsy or, or online or through your YouTube channel, it, it really doesn't matter, but I would like to have a giveaway for those who make not only knit and crochet items but for those who make things like like beautiful stitch markers you know and beautiful little coin purses <laughs> isn't that beauty i love it does everybody know who made this one You have one egg. The egg has crabs and gave me the, oh my God. <laughs> Bags, right? Billy made it. Isn't that so cute? But that, 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 this is not going in the giveaway. This one is not. Oh my. But anyway, yes. And I'm kind of collecting things. I'm still like working on getting some things to put into giveaway. But anyway, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Oh, poor Maxie. He, he slid off of the bench and because his bed slid off the bench. He must have pushed it off. Hey, Jennifer, thank you for coming. Oh, poor Lala with those crabs again. Oh, gosh, I have to do that, too. I have to do my laundry, too. I've got I've got it going. But I do have I haven't I, because of all this right here. If I could look down. I could do a lot more work, especially when it comes to making things for my Etsy shop, which are row counters and stitch markers, but it's a little difficult. However, I do have <coughs> a few of these in the shop that might be new to you. Because it's October, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We all know this, yes? So I do have a few. Um, row counters that are with the pink ribbon and it's it's like all the others I make a 10 a 10 beaded abacus style row counter and uh, this one I'm gonna slide them all up this one has uh, a multiples tracker that's a little bit of a it's a little tiny a tea tiny pink ribbon and at the bottom, we got slightly larger pink ribbons. Ribbons. ribbons, ribbons. But yeah, so yes. And I have, I think there's three of these available. But I do, I did finally get these in the shop. <coughs> <coughs> and hopefully I can get some more things pretty soon. Yes, Lynn's got a, a got, yeah, Lynn uh, did a, a custom order from me. Hey, Frog Crochet. Thank you, Tammy. Lynn's got one. Yeah. And I have another one in uh, the shot that's that's real pretty because it's it's uh, pink uh, rhinestones in the ribbon. Um, and that comes as a set that's in there, too. So, yeah. Thank you, Jax, for dropping me in there. And my phone's been buzzing like crazy. <coughs> Thank you, Jaxie. <laughs> All right. So what else? Jax, thanks so much. That's a beautiful, beautiful blankie. God, I love this. Now I got to look up that pattern. That is so, sounds pretty easy. Just four triangles. That sounds pretty easy. 
Etsy bomb. And don't forget, y'all, Jax has an Etsy shop too. Same name, Creations by Jax. And she's got some beautiful hugs in there for sale and some beautiful uh, uh, bag uh, zipper pulls and stitch markers. You got stitch markers in there too? I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to have a giveaway sooner than later with uh, things like that from, from several different makers. And another maker, um, and Miss, oh, while I'm thinking about it, thanks be to, thanks and glory be to our big sis D, uh, Knit Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D, because she is really throwing out the adverts for a lot of us, and it's fantastic. Um, I know I've sold a whole lot. <laughs> Um, with D's help, uh, I, 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 I don't know how else to thank you, D, but a happy mail is coming your way pretty soon. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, guess what I got? Oh, guess what I missed this weekend because of this? My 41st class reunion, 41 years. I think they, I think it's possible that they wanted to have one last year for a 40th because that makes more sense. But I think because of the, the COVID, you know, all that, they probably, they waited another year, but yeah. Anyway, we have a um, Facebook group for our high school class and people have been posting wonderful pictures from their reunion this past weekend. And it's just been such a joy to see everybody. It's fabulous. I can't wait. I think they're actually going to have one in four years for 45. I can't believe I've been out of school that long. Good grief. <laughs> 45 years, 41 years, really. But anyway, I sure hope I can go to the next one. Uh, well, Sandra, I called because I wanted to know the same question. And they told me that I need to wear it, except for eating and bathing, I need to wear it constantly until I go back on November 4th for my post-op appointment. Is that not crazy? But I have to admit, I am not wearing it that much. If I am sitting in the recliner or laying on, you know, laying in the bed, um, I'm not, I'm not going to wear it constantly. And I don't, if I'm not moving around, walking around or, or dry, riding in the car, I'm not wearing it. So, so what you only had to wear yours about three weeks and then only went in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Doctors are all going to give different post-op instructions. Yeah. Yeah. They were, they, they, I could tell they were kind of, what should I say? Uh, miffed at my question <laughs> i'm like so how long do i have to wear this and she said well hold on let me go find out and then uh, she came back and she said well you just need to wear it until you come back <laughs> period i'm like yeah uh. <laughs> you didn't have to wear it at all i don't think laura had to wear hers at all either tammy i know you know so I, I don't feel that bad when I don't wear it. Now I will wear it like when I'm, I knew I should, I should probably wear it anytime I do a video or a live because I know I, I kind of get a little too animated when I converse with people. But if I'm just by myself and I do talk to myself, but I don't get as animated when talking to myself as I do with other people. So, you know. Whatever it takes to get better. Right, Kristen. But of course, now the nurse said, be aware that this is not going to save you. You know, it's just a reminder. I mean, you know, she was kind enough to say it. it, it and without saying, without her actually saying you don't have to wear it all the time, she kind of said it in that way. It's not like it's going to prevent me from turning. It's just going to help us remind us not to turn and honestly like i said before i have turned my neck and it it it, it didn't hurt 
And I would think, now y'all correct me if, if I'm wrong, I would think if I've messed something up back there, and yesterday when Mr. C had to slam on the brakes for some crazy driver pulling out in front of us, uh, that hurt. That slung my head and it hurt, but it only hurt for a little bit. So um, my question is, if I ain't hurting like crazy back there, then things are probably still screwed in and there's, I mean, you know, I, 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 yeah, I would know it. Thank you, Tammy. I would know it. Right. <clears throat> I know, right? <laughs> Sandra, she said, we need to come up with a name for this exclusive neck surgery club. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, not only the neck, I've heard a lot of people, even, even in our community, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, lumbar region and the is it thoracic region so it's like all sections of the back for for so many people is much more common than i ever realized <clears throat> but you know and and really i don't have any pain anymore i mean i feel it it's just a little sore you know <clears throat> oh god poor la la and possibly she's got two more to go on her neck and possibly something with your lumbar region too. That's the thoracic's in the middle, right? Am I saying that right? I don't even know. Lumbar's lower back, right? But yeah. Yeah, it was, so, it was really funny in the, um, I, I think it's called the holding room. It's the room that you're in right before you go to surgery. And there were lots of patients in there and um, all the anesthesiologists, everybody was calling them the bartenders <laughs> because of, I guess because of the concoction they were going to, going to feed you through the IV. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. The bartenders. Oh, and the, the last thing I remember, well, it was like, so it, they kept saying, well, yeah, we're serving margaritas today before surgery. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want a margarita. I want a martini. <laughs> oh, but, and then my anesthesiologist said, okay, so I'm going to start this thing. You're probably going to feel kind of sleepy. And all I felt was burn because the IV was in my top of my hand. <laughs> it was burning. <laughs> I said, it's burning. <laughs> And he said, well, it won't burn for long. I said, okay, now it's just cold. And then they, they said, okay, so we're going to put this on your face right here. It's just oxygen. That's the last thing I remember. <laughs> the very last thing. Oh, hello, Michelle in Kansas. All right. My goodness, we're past time. So before we leave, let me give you a quote. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, wait a minute. Oh, did anybody give me a tip about how to get the water out my ear? I might have missed it. I got to look back at the chat when it comes available. Oh, and thank you so much to anybody who's been lurking. And Malia, if you've been lurking. But uh, we do appreciate everybody that watches the replay or that is lurking here. Uh, I lurk a lot. Uh, incidentally, guys, I have been watching the YT quite a bit, but I haven't been commenting because I'm being lazy and watching on the big screen while I kick back in the bed. And yes, I am off all the pain medications except for the muscle relaxer, um, which I have to say has really been helping me sleep. I don't feel it. At all. I don't feel that the muscle relaxer does anything for me until I actually sit down and relax and then it just puts me to sleep. I've been taking more naps than I ever had in my life. But anywho, things are getting better and I do appreciate so much everybody's prayers. So let me leave you with a quote by Paul R. Ehrlich. Sounds like a ger good old German name. And this is, this is for Dory, who's actually taking uh, some computer lessons. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So Paul R. Ehrlich said, to err is human. But to really foul things up, you need a computer. 
I have to agree with that. See there, I'm nodding. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> naps rock. I've never been much of a napper, but I'll tell you what, if I sit down long enough now on those muscle relaxers, I'm out. <laughs> I love you guys. And I hope to see you again next week. Kisses and love all around. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. See you next time. Bye.